Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I am going to do a favorites video. Uh, it's September favorites, but it runs into some of October also. So, um, you know, it's kind of, a, kind of a combination, maybe a last six weeks favorites, that type of thing. So I am gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start with the first one. It's a TV show. It is the series by Ken Burns called Country Music. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed this, and there's sort of a reason behind it. Uh, when I first started doing YouTube, I read on a message board that several people said, have you heard this woman speak talking about me? Um, she, you know, she sounds like a hick. I'll never be able to listen to her and just, you know, making fun of my accent. And uh, so... I never thought about my accent that much before, but I, I got self... I didn't get really self-conscious, but I sort of, you know, noticed it. And so it got to where, you know, I couldn't... I, I can't look at... Listen to my videos later. I can edit them and listen to them one time to make sure everything's okay. And then I can't listen to them anymore because all I hear is my accent. So uh, just that series really helped me a lot to realize, oh, well, you know, other people have these accents and they are successful and they're good people and they make good music and they're, they're proud. They're proud of their roots and they're proud of where they live and they, they're proud of the way they talk. So that really helped me a whole lot. It made me realize, oh, well, you know, I, it wasn't bad enough that I would quit YouTube, but it was, it made me aware that I had an accent, which I never realized that, I guess I never realized I did before. So that helped me so much. My parents always uh, had Hank Williams playing in the, in the house and I knew every one of his songs. So it just, it was just a really good series. I enjoyed it so much. So country music, I think it's, it was on PBS. So that is my number one favorite, recent favorite. Uh, speaking of TV shows, there is another one that is called uh, this one is called Mind Hunter, and I can't remember if it was on Netflix. It might have been on Netflix, but wow, what a series! It is about the the FBI's beginning of their behavioral science division, and uh, how they developed it. What they would do is it's, it's it comes with a with a warning. It is very very disturbing. What they would do is they would go to like talk to serial killers and uh, talk about why they did it. Uh, how they did it to be able to get an idea of how to predict behaviors in other criminals and other things that happen in the future. And uh, so it's graphic, it's upsetting, it's, you know, it, it very much a word of warning. But if you do like cre true crime, which we do, um, uh, it, is, it is a good series. It is very well done. Uh, okay, the next one is a liner. For some reason, uh, this last month, I really enjoyed doing a Wang liner, and I always use the Kat Von D Trooper. It has the best little tip. I really like it. I just, uh, I always get a good line with this. I start from the outside, go in, go in. It just, it just does a good job every time. I have never, I don't think, ever had to redo it, you know, take off my wing and start over again with this eyeliner. I really like it a whole lot. Uh, and this, you know, it's my favorite. The next one is this lipstick I have on. I have really loved this lipstick. It's actually two lipsticks in one. I start with the MAC liner, lip liner in Spice to, you know, line my lips on the outside. Then I use Buxom Poison Nectar. And then on top of that, I use Laura Mercier uh, Coral VIP, VI, VIF. Yeah, if is what it is. And uh, that combination, I just really like it. It gives the poison nectar kind of tones down the strong red of the coral. Sorry, I got a phone call. I was talking about the lip combo. Oh yeah, the, the poison nectar and then the coral VIF, they, they just kind of kind of counteract each other and I really like it. Um, Okay, the next one, oh, I was so thrilled about. So my very favorite body wash from Bath & Body Works has been Golden Pear and Brown Sugar. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it so much. Well, of course, they discontinued it because <laughs> companies like doing that. So uh, 
I bought every one of them I could on eBay and on Amazon and then the price just got real high because they just you couldn't find it anymore so I went to the Bath and Body Works website and on the search engine I put pear in and I found toasted praline in it and pear so I thought well toasted praline and uh, brown sugar that might smell similar and then the pear so I went down there and took a whiff of it and it is just exactly the same. They look the same. They're the same color. They smell exactly the same. So I have stocked up. I've gone down twice to get the, the deal where you buy three, get two free. And uh, so I've got like 10 of them stored away. So I should be okay for a while, but I hope they keep this one for a while. It's a perfect fall scent. It is absolutely, oh, you know, I just love it. It is great. The next one is a podcast, and I love listening to podcasts, especially true crime podcasts. While I take a shower, it makes the shower time, shaving your legs, washing your hair, everything go by faster and more pleasantly. There are several that I really enjoy, and one of them is Generation Y, W-H-Y. The hosts are Aaron and Justin, and they are so smart, they present the ca case so clearly and discuss it so knowledgeably they do all the research i just really enjoy listening to them and uh you know i every time a new podcast comes out of theirs you know i listen to it first thing it always you know it's very exciting uh to hear when there's a new one so uh, generation y i i really like it i really like them a whole lot the next one is some coffee pods that I've been using during the fall. Uh, this is my third year in a row, and in fact, I usually, I, I bought, I sent several people, you know, some of the coffee pods, and it is the Wawa Pumpkin Spice. Um, this is fantastic. I have tried other coffee pumpkin spice, you know, that you can make at home, and uh, this one just hands down beats them all. It is seasonal. So there is a time, there's a window when you can buy it. I get mine from Amazon. I buy several packages of them and they're just, it's just so good. It is really a good pumpkin spice coffee. And I put the, I think it's Carnation Pumpkin Spice Creamer in it too. And that just really, that just sends it over the top goodness. So I love this. Wawa Coffee Pumpkin Spice. Okay, the next one is just some shampoo that I absolutely love. I have just, I've mentioned the Amica line before, I think, and this is my newest purchase. This is the uh, smoothing shampoo and conditioner. Not only does this smell absolutely wonderful, it has really uh, helped with my, smooth my hair down a whole lot. Uh, this morning I shampooed it. Usually I can't shampoo it in the morning because it's just too frizzy. I just blow dried it and then blow dried it upside down and then came in here and started filming. And uh, I really, it feels good. It feels, a, a problem that I have with a lot of smoothing shampoos and products is it weighs my hair down. I have thin hair anyway and it's very flyaway. But this, keeps it from being so flyaway. It gives it some heft, but it doesn't weigh it down. It almost like it changes the texture or something. This is, uh, uh, I really, really, really like this shampoo a whole lot, and it really does smell good. I really do. So the Amiga shampoo, the smoothing line. Okay, the next one are these three dresses. Oh my goodness, I have loved these dresses and worn them pretty much every week since I bought them. Two of them I got are, Two of them are available on Nordstrom Rack for maybe about $20, the navy and the red. And this one is on, the gingham is on Nordstrom. But I hope they still have some available. But I wore them. We had this terrible, terrible, horrible heat in September, just uh, up near 100 degrees every single day. No rain, no relief in sight. And uh, just wearing these dresses it just made it a lot more pleasant a lot more bearable because i could wear them to work and even after work or when i wa wasn't working because it was very cool so they're off the shoulder they're really cute and uh, i'll be able to you know wear them next summer too so i, I was real tickled to get these the next one is uh blunts this balloon kit uh yesterday we celebrated i cooked a dinner for my 
uh, my daughter, granddaughter number two, her 12th birthday, and I did a balloon arch. And I will show a picture of it. It was so easy to do. It looks like it's harder and more expensive than what it is. I bought a kit off Amazon. And uh, then I went to Walmart and I got just a little, you plug it in and it blows up your balloons. It's a balloon blower upper. <laughs> else to call it. I can't, can't think what else to call it. But it blows up your balloons. You plug it in. You put the balloon on it. It takes three seconds to blow it up. And then I found this other, this little plastic thing where you wrap the balloon around. It has a hole and you do it through and it ties it real quickly in about three to five seconds. So you can do your balloons really fast. So Doug would do the balloons and the kit comes with all the balloons and then it comes with this strip about this wide and it has little holes in it. So you stick the balloons, the tied balloons, after you tie them, you stick them in these little holes and you can do the balloons different sizes, you know, small and big and different colors and kind of make, you know, a spray. Uh, of it and it just looks so pretty and she was so tickled she just absolutely loved it and like I said it looked it looked harder than what it was so I will show a picture of that now that was a big hit yesterday and the next one I heard about this from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats and she just uh, I'll link her channel she's a little bundle of joy and it is from OG OGX it's the Botifying Bamboo Fiber Full Hairspray. Oh my goodness, this is a great hairspray. It smells fantastic. I have always liked the Kenra 25, but it can get a little stiff, you know, when you put it on. This really holds your hair, but it your hair will have movement. Uh, so it, it does a great job without making it too terribly stiff, but it will still hold if you're doing some kind of updo or something where you really need to hold it. It does a good job with that, holding it there too. So this is just definitely, this is my new favorite hairspray now. And it's, uh, it is the Bamboo Fiber Full. I really like it. it. Smells good too. It smells really good. The next one is this mascara. I am so tired of mascaras, with, especially with this heat smearing on me. Uh, I tried... Well, I'm tired of the, uh, oh, the It Cosmetics Superhero. Now, that's a good mascara, but dang, it's messy. I mean, it gets all over. I wipe it down every single time I use it. I have a cloth. I have a cloth right here. I wipe it down, put it up, and then I, it doesn't, it's not that it leaks. It just, it just gets all over the outside very, very quickly. And then it gets all over my makeup bag, and I just, it drives me crazy. And then um, I, a lot of people had talked about the uh, Essence Lash, Lash Princess, and that was terrible on me. That was just, oh, it smeared really bad. I looked like I had two black eyes. It was just really, it smeared terribly. So I've gone back, I think I might have talked about this before, to my Estee Lauder Waterproof. It's the Sumptuous Extreme Waterproof Mascara. This is a great mascara. It builds, it has length, it's uh, it lasts now it's harder to take off at night because you know it's it's a waterproof but it is so worth it because you just i was just constantly you know wiping under here wiping under here wiping under here trying to find a mirror trying to find a piece of chrome to look at because see if my mascara was smeared uh and it usually was so i really like this mascara i don't have to worry about it uh, anymore you know whether it's going to smear out in public the next one is, uh, this is my last one. Yeah, my last one. These, this is, uh, to save some money, uh, I took my nails off. I quit going to the nail salon. I had acrylics and I soaked them off. I've got my natural nails now and uh, I'm just real, I'm real proud of them. They're, they're getting harder, of course. You know, they're, they peeled and look terrible and I don't have the best nails in the world anyway, but that's okay. The, they're my nails and they're natural and so I'm just going to wear them from now on um, You know and it just boy it sure does save you some time and some money That's for sure and I like to change my nail polish really often You know the, the color I get tired of one color and I have really enjoyed the Insta nail I think it's by Sally Hansen the Insta nail I've gotten all different colors and it's got the base coat and the color coat and the top coat all in one and it's just one coat and it dries in about one minute and you're done so it takes you know it's you just 
10 little swipes, you know, all the way across, and you're done. That's it. And then it'll last a few days. In fact, it lasts better than if I go to all the trouble to do all the different layers. Uh, it just, it lasts really well on me. You know, it's the best that I have found that lasts the most on me. So I have really enjoyed it a whole lot. I'm gonna do it again tonight. I like to try to get a little air to my, since my nails have been covered so much, I'll try to go a little bit without nails. But yeah, my natural nails again, uh, it just feels, it kind of feels right. It feels like they're getting healthier. So that's a good thing. I appreciate you watching so much. I really do. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all in a couple of days. Bye-bye.